this week as well, um, I released additional recommendations for our schools, building on the success that our elementary schools have seen in being able to return students to in-person learning without outbreaks in the schools or without evidence of secondary transmission, uh, building as well on the updated recommendations from the State Department of Health that also recognize that even in communities with high disease activity, children can be returned to schools when schools have implemented the appropriate safety and infection control measures and when case identification and contact tracing can occur quickly through collaboration between public health and school systems. With the updated recommendation, I have lifted the pause uh, that we had set on secondary schools, uh, beginning to phase more students into in-person learning. The pause is lifted as of January 25th. Our school districts uh, who, do, who already have students in elementary school can begin to phase in middle and high schools. I participated in both the Richland and Kennewick school board meetings this week, uh, and both of those school districts uh, have made uh, plans to move ahead with bringing students back to middle and high school uh, towards the end of the month. Uh, we view that as an uh, encouraging sign that we can begin to uh, address some of the issues around uh, educational, uh, success and mental health that we know many of our students uh, have been challenged with.